you don't waste a single day. Everything is important. And for somebody to tell me that I needed to hold my nose and ignore three years of my child's life was just the ultimate defining moment that, oh no, you're not. I went to Columbia and served on the State Board of Education and I learned a whole lot in a very short amount of time. And one of the most important lessons I learned was Education is not going to change in this state from the top down. Bureaucracies just can't support that kind of change. Education will change school by school and it will change from within the classroom. It was during that process that I learned about charter schools. You can't keep waiting around for you know somebody else to do something. There was a very defining moment one Sunday morning where I just felt God flick me on the ear God, I don't know how to do this. I am the last person in the world to do anything with education. But I can herd cats. State isn't giving us everything like they do at another school, but we can make sure that this is the best. And when we started this school as a planning committee, we designed it with our kids in mind. And if it's good enough for my child, I want it to be good enough for your child. To furnish the building, we had to beg, borrow, and plead for everything. Um, our first desk, I bought off of eBay for $5.10 out of a salvage yard in Texas. Our original computers came out of the prison system. They were rehab um, computers. We drove to Columbia and loaded, up, loaded them up in our minivans and brought them back. But it was our budget, and we could do with it what we needed to do. We were free to make the right choices. 18 months later, we had created a business. There were seven people on the payroll. Now there's over 30. Buildings are buildings, equipment is equipment, but what makes a difference are the people. How those people respond to each other, how responsible they are in their job, how kind they are, how competent they are, that's what makes it great or makes it fail. I have a stack of some of my most precious possessions, which are notes from parents who have said, this was an answer to prayer. And their parents from all walks of life, you know, from all different backgrounds. There was a bigger reason than just my kids. You've identified the problem, now you go identify the solution. Don't wait on somebody else, because they're waiting on you. Hi, this is Jim DeMent with the Heritage Foundation. Lisa is one courageous parent. Seeing firsthand how a school didn't work for her child then taking action to change it. She's like so many leaders we spotlight in our new book, Falling in Love with America Again, which reveals solutions all across America. You can order it today at inlovewithamerica.com.